Welcome to the Healthy Heart Podcast, brought to you by me, Gabby Garcia. The Healthy Heart Podcast is a space to share about valuable topics that, as a humanity, we need to be more aware. We want to create a positive impact in everyone who listens to us. I believe you are also making a positive impact, so thank you for being here. Welcome to this first episode. I am beyond excited about this new project and I want to share with you in a very short way why did I start this podcast. And it is because I believe in spreading knowledge about health, wellness, happiness, life accomplishments, um, speak about topics that will make people feel valued and loved and also help them with their physical and mental health by having a healthy heart mindset. A healthy heart mindset includes your health as a whole. That means your emotions, but also your physical body. So I want to use this podcast as a mechanism to communicate and share other people's knowledge as well as mine and create curiosity promoting new habits that are good for everyone by being love, the first ingredient of those habits. And that's why today I chose to talk about self-love. Let's get started. How can we love ourselves and make decisions in our favor without being selfish or arrogant? How can we put ourselves first? So I was analyzing about this and I thought that we tend to look for the things we need out of ourselves to put our needs in others' hands by creating expectations on how we should be treated, how should we be loved or cared. But we rarely stop to think on how we can do this for ourselves, for our own personal growth, our self-development, and the happiness feeling. So today I'm going to talk about how a healthy heart mindset can help you to enjoy this feeling of fulfillment and reach your personal dreams by making them goals. I will tell you in four points how to do it and how that has worked for me. The first point is all about self-talk. How do we communicate with ourselves? This is such an important topic. Are you gentle, high demander, or maybe not as optimistic as you'd like because you think in a realistic way? which is always in your control because you create your reality, right? There are ways to change this, but sometimes we don't want to take those ways. In any case, how we talk to ourselves, I believe is the pillar of self-love. Are we feeling compassion or pity? Are we being encouraged or discouraged by our thoughts? The only way we can use to improve this is to be aware of it by remembering it. So this doesn't mean that we cannot push ourselves to be better, but doing it in a healthy way, a way that works on our self-development and make us able to share and spread that. Because what we feel is what we're going to project. Our genetic expression changes and we start creating a better environment in our minds and in our surroundings, if that makes sense. The second point I'll say is that we need to understand the difference of being interested or being committed because one takes you to complete whatever you want and the other just drives you for the first couple of miles but don't give you the right until the finish line. Plus, in the way, you will probably stop in the first ob the obstacle while if you are committed, you will be more focused on keep going and just overcome and learn from whatever comes your way. So in conclusion, I think we need to be committed to love ourselves because we can say, oh yes, I love myself, but then you put others first or too much importance on others' opinions. So I believe it is a process that we really need to engage with. The third point is that We need to know who we are by what we think and not by what others believe we are or what we think others believe we are. I'll repeat that. 
We need to know who we are by what we think, not by what others believe we are or what we think others believe we are. This is so imperative because moreover, by knowing who you are, you are going to be able to improve in any aspect of your life, whether it's your self-love or your way to express it to others. By knowing who we are, we can embrace ourselves and make a mental or written list of the things we like and the ones we don't enjoy that much that we could improve. So this takes us to the next point, which is give credit to yourself. We do amazing things every day and sometimes we don't realize it. Whether it's smiling to someone randomly in the street or just being kind in your way of expression, you are already making something that creates a positive impact. So always remember to give yourself some credit. Maybe you weren't going to the gym today, but you did it. Say thank you to yourself. If you wanted to say no to a social activity and you did it, say thank you to yourself and so on. It is important to recognize ourselves, the good things we do on our daily basis, because by doing this, you are creating positive energy, which I believe is taken as love by our bodies and minds, giving as a result, a healthy heart. So just as a wrap up, I'll repeat the four points. And the first one is self-talk. The second one is to be committed. The third one is know who you are. And the number four is to give yourself some credit. How do you develop these four points without being arrogant or selfish? I believe it's easy because if you're taking care of yourself without harming anyone, then you're good to go. That doesn't make you selfish or arrogant, but You know, we are humans and emotions and feelings are a huge part of who we are. So sometimes people will feel sad or disappointed by our decisions, but we should remember that this is a reflection of themselves and not of us. Because if we are kind, we are compassionate and empathic, then we can develop self-love and have that love to share with others. But what happens if we feel disappointed for other people's decisions? We need to remember that we're responsible for how we decided that to affect us. And I know that sometimes we can't control how we feel at the beginning, but we can always transform this feeling into a positive one for our own health. So what's the key? The key is self-love, is to respect ourselves as human beings because we create love We give love and we receive it. And that's how it works. Thank you so much for listening to this first episode. It really means the world to me. Stay tuned for the upcoming ones and don't forget to subscribe. You can find more information about us on www.dontdiewondering.me and enjoy all the different services we offer there. Please feel free to press the link on the description below and make a donation to support keep receiving this valuable information. Thank you for joining us and if you like this episode, please share it because spread the love is what we love.